All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. And today we're going over to Evil Twin Brewing, the New York arm of Evil Twin. And this is a can of the Ye Olde Stout Will Never Go Out of Style. So this is an oatmeal stout clocking in at 5.4% ABV, brewed, of course, by uh, Evil Twin Brewing uh, by Westbrook brewing company in Mount Pleasant so it might not actually be uh, the New York arm I'm not sure but it was in the New York box from Beer 52 so I am surmising that it would be the New York brewery weird camera angle I know weird lighting always um, the the fundamentals of a vintage clueless drink of video beer review so without any further ado let's get this open and what we get so we are coming into stout season with it just past the mid part of September although it's been quite warm recently but then again if you want to drink a, an imperial stout or a stout or whatever a dark beer in the height of summer go for it because sometimes you're just in the mood for a stout no matter what the weather just like an IPA just like a lager, just like a sour, just like any sort of beer. But anyway, so I thought perfect time to open this. Uh, it's the last Saturday before um, there's restrictions in place in West Lancashire. So I'm having a couple of people around. So I'm having a couple of drinks because I've pretty much only got uh, Red Stripe and I thought I'd slip in a few beer reviews with some other beers and get myself merry so i'm not just raiding my beer stack and just drinking something that i really don't need to drink so soon and what is going on with the fitting on the top of this look at oh look at that bit of boob action uh anyway yeah so beer in the glass then and it's looking really nice i sort of look like um i'm from a scandinavian crime drama like a disgraced detective who's put back on the case to to find a missing girl. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, nice bit of Nordic crime culture there for you. So here in the glass then, and uh, that to me is pretty much approaching Jet Black. There's like a really dark, intense sort of oakiness to it. Beer poured with about half a finger's worth of a sort of a coffee head, if that makes any sense. It looks like a, a dark coffee, uh, like most stouts do. Anyway, let's give it a sniff. Oh, oh yes. That's really chocolatey. And now, obviously, the, the oatmeal plays a part in that. So it reminds me of like porridge or ready brick with a bit of sugar sprinkled on top. But yeah, lovely roasty malt profile on this. Just nice and sweet. It's like almost like a slight like vanilla essence aroma in there as well. Like chocolate cake. It smells like chocolate cake. This is this is wonderful. Stop the press. This smells wonderful. Yeah, off to a cracking start. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, folks. Silky smooth for its ABV. It's not as sweet as the nose would suggest, and it sort of looks like I'm wearing a bra, depending on how... Uh... Yeah, you also... I don't know. Some shots I've got, like, an imprint of wearing a bra. I'm not wearing a bra... It's not Sunday, so I don't wear a bra. Nice bitter finish on this. It's got like an old school stout character, but it's lifted by that use of oatmeal. It's got that sort of like um, cereal milk sort of character to it. Yeah, loads of dark chocolate, a little bit of a, a lighter chocolate, not necessarily milk chocolate, 
Quite sure it's dark or milk, really, isn't it, at the end of the day? I'm not a chocolatier, but well, I'm not really that good at reviewing beer either, so. That's really nice. It's nice and simple. Drinkable as anything. But it's just got a little bit of decadence to it. I do find that sometimes um, oatmeal stouts do fall a little bit flat unless there's other additions in there. But this doesn't really need it. It's what you want from um, an oatmeal stout of this ABV. Almost has like the texture of a milk stout, almost. Yeah, lovely stuff. Nice bittering hop in there. Get a bit of like a chestnut-like character as well. Yeah, it's just the right amount of sweetness where it's not sickly. And the, the malt build on this beer is just, just wonderful. It really, really is. You want to dunk a digestive into a beer like this. And there is that slight hint of an almost coffee-like presence in there, like a, like a filter coffee almost. But it's not very coffee because there's no coffee in it. But um, yeah, the, the old stout will never go out of style. Very true, very true under these circumstances. I think this is a really nice little beer, actually. Uh, a very pleasant surprise indeed. The other uh, Evil Twin beer I got in this box was the James beer, which is, uh, what's this? A Berliner Weisse brewed with olive and strawberry. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I really like this. This is this is lovely. And it's not gonna last long. Nice sticky finish on the lips as well. Don't wink when you say that, it's weird. So yeah, in terms of a rating, um this has got eight and a half out of ten, I'd say. Lovely stuff indeed. Uh just really nice it's the simplicity of it. I mean obviously Evil Twin are known for their sort of like big flavours and big concepts when it comes to some of their beers. But it's great to see a brewery like Evil Twin could still brew beers like this. I mean, look at, I mean, that being said, Even More Jesus is, it's really got no bells and whistles about it. It's just like a really upfront and classic Russian Imperial Stout. And uh, yeah, Evil Twin's Stout game is absolutely bang on. Um, I was going to say something that made me sound like I was 14 years old, but I'm 31. You can't you can't try and speak like that. Anyway, lovely stuff indeed. If you've tried this, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Are you a fan of Evil Twin? Um, Westbrook, big shout out to my uh, Westbrook people. I'm so white and 31 years old. I do sometimes think I'm having my midlife crisis like 20 years too early but i'm embracing it because i feel like i'm i'm full of energy full of spunk not in that way and i feel like a I feel like a randy teenager <laughs> sound a bit like uh, something alan partridge would say then the shadow looks like i've got like a, a brassiere or a corset covering my uh, jumper and i hope i don't get copyright stricken for um music in the background but it's french hip-hop so who the fuck cares i'm really fucking pretentious and i don't give a shit so fuck you go away but come back for another beer review and uh, yeah go check out evil twin go check out beer 52 and uh, yeah one of the highlights from the new york box lovely stuff so i'm really interested to try oh tommy made a weird noise very interested to try that olive and strawberry Berliner Weisse. But I don't think I'm going to jump into the sours tonight. Um, just because tomorrow would be a complete write-off. Anyway, cheers for watching, folks. And uh, yeah, you all take care. And I shall see you next time. Cheers.